Hey, what's going on? Uh, so, you know, with the, uh, the pandemic and everything, sometimes you gotta, you know, desperate times, desperate measures, that sort of thing. So today, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to break into your neighbor's shed. So by virtue of the fact that I am recording this with an incredibly shitty tripod and my iPhone, uh, it's not gonna look great. And I can't get a great angle, but hey, you know, you do what you gotta do. So as you can see, this is just a uh, very standard handle-based lock, which these locks are traditionally not all that great, but you know, it's good to have at least something. But uh, I'll be back in just a second. Now the things you're gonna need for this, are pretty, uh, pretty basic. You've got your tension wrench, and you've got a, oh God, a uh, raking tool. Now you may not necessarily need both of these things, but uh, you need some kind of form of them. Uh, tension wrench can be as simple as a tiny screwdriver. A uh, raking tool, uh, you might be able to get away with like a paper clip or something. Uh, especially, you're gonna see in a second just how pathetic these locks are. But, uh, you know, I got this off of uh, some Chinese website for like five bucks, uh, along with a whole set of equally shitty, cheap lock picks. But, uh, you know, whenever you barely know what you're doing like me, you, uh, you just get the cheap shit. So the general idea, whenever you're uh, lock picking anything, is uh, you have your tension wrench of some type, and I just dropped it. That's good. That's good. This is top quality content. So you cram it in the side that you're uh, not going to be shoving the pick into. Now, are there other ways of doing it? Yes, absolutely. Well, like I said before, I'm a shit. So, you know. So what I'm doing here is just applying pressure right here uh, to keep the keyway turning. And what this does is exploit a uh, failure in the design and manufacturing of the lock mechanism. Basically that if you can get each individual pin within the lock to get to the point where it gets stuck because of the turning, then you can do that systematically with each individual pin and then the lock opens. Now, there are a lot more complexities to that, especially whenever you get to like actual house locks. But in this situation, all you have to do is take your raking tool and uh, just kind of just kind of shove it in, and then uh, wiggle it back and forth, a bit. and uh, you know, then it opens. Yeah, that's cool. Just hit the fucking trap. So, as you can see, very, very easy to uh, do this with pretty much any lock like this, which is going to be most of your neighbor's shed's locks. But, uh, you know, don't actually break into your neighbor's shed. That would be illegal. And now that I've covered myself, I'm going to relock my shed using the same method as before, which is uh, just running the thing over the pins. Now, you might end up in a situation, like I think I have, where nothing wants to set. And maybe I could like increase pressure or lower pressure and just kind of keep doing that and have it eventually come. But whenever I get in a situation like this, I usually just give it a little counter rotation and uh, start over. Eventually, eventually, eventually. This is good. This is good content. All right, there we go. I got it. It was just stuck. I'd like to point out again that this is as simple as it is because these locks are absolute garbage. Um, they're not really meant for uh, preventing uh, being broken into. 
so much as just uh, being a general deterrent so that someone can't just walk up and open your shed. If you want to actually keep your shit safe, uh, well, your best bet is using a real lock. Uh, if I was smart, I would do something like putting a, uh, a latch here or here and then having a much larger padlock or something on there to keep it closed. But instead, I have a slightly different deterrent method, which is that I have uh, four of those all around my house. Uh, so, you know, if you see that, um, then you would logically know you probably don't want to break into my house because I'll know it was you. And most thieves don't really want to get caught. That's kind of the idea. So anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk on uh, how to steal your neighbor's lawnmower. Um, please don't actually steal your neighbor's lawnmower, or if you do, don't tell them that I showed you how, because then I could get in trouble. And I don't know you. Anyway, see you next week.